啊。So Li should go back and sleep. I can't. I know you're worried, Ma. But you should take care of your health. I still don't understand it. And neither do I. God doesn't get angry. In fact, most of the time he just talks big and doesn't do anything. I just wish he had said something that night. At least he's doing the right thing. Just hope it's not too late. Can't believe it was Chris. If there's one thing Sheila was good at, it was pushing people's buttons. I still wish it wasn't Chris. I feel sorry for Ma. Yeah, she's a mess. Betty slept the whole weekend. She always had a soft spot for Chris. And poor Suzanne. I told her not to worry about work. Take as much time as she needs. Yeah, I really hope that she can keep it together. She can. She's very capable. Her survival instincts are very strong. Until the end, you're not eating. You need some coffee? I think I need it. I've got it. Anyone checked on Diana or Jinkai? Yeah. Jess, okay. They're actually... Um... I hope you're feeling better. I, I don't remember morning sickness being this bad the first time around. Hmm. It's quite funny because Jay was probably thinking the same thing about how tough it was when he was being grilled by Inspector John on Friday. Ben? What kind of man would let his brother-in-law take the fall for something he did? He didn't, okay? Chris is the one in jail, not not Jin Kai. You just couldn't resist, right? Don't you think it's hard enough for them as it is? See, Jin Kai, I said everything will be okay, right? You said he needed a lawyer. Ah, since everything is okay now, how come you still look so tired? Oh, because it's Chris. Anything that happens to the tongs, especially Chris, affects Diana. And Suzanne? Shirling, how has Adam been? You know him. He hasn't said much about how he feels. But he seems to be taking it better than the rest of his family. Good that he went back over the weekend uh, to spend some time with them. Better keep an eye on him. With his depression, he still needs your support. Especially now, he has to support his family. It can take a lot out of him. Yeah, I know, Pa. Mm. Morning. Ah, oh, morning. 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 Thanks, Wati. Try not to get so worked up, Suzanne. It stresses the baby. How oh, can I not get worked up, Ma? Chris is in jail. How oh, can I just go back to normal like this? A few adjustments will have to be made, but it will. <laughs> Our baby's gonna grow up without a father. My, I can't do this alone. I, I can't. You won't have to. I promise you, we'll all be here to support you. <laughs> and Chris, he'll never know our child. You don't know that. How can I do this to him, Ma? Suzanne. <laughs> Don't blame yourself for getting pregnant. How could you have known any of this would happen? The best we can do is take things a day at a time. Okay? Oh. 
sorry. J just one last question. Uh. Um, so this list of Suzanne's accounts, they are the ones that I need to follow up on? Mm. Actually, not all. Some of them I've been handling, such as this, this and this. Isn't that confusing? Not really. While you were away, me and Suzanne decided to split them accordingly to personality types. Oh. Yeah, we figured that some of them responded better to Suzanne's style and some responded better to mine. So it was like a trial and error thing. Some of them started out as mine, but we swapped in the end. In that case, do you have um, just Suzanne's and then I'll just take it from there. Wait, is this for the new bulk discount structure? Yeah. Why don't I handle it? We've been preempting them on this for a while. Plus, some of the newer clients haven't met you yet. It'll be easier if I do it. Um, are, you, are you sure? Yeah, I can do it. No problem. I'm sorry that you had to go through the ordeal at the station. Yeah, it's just like Chris to be selfish about this. It's done, it's over. Um, and, and you? Are you doing okay? I'm okay. Worried, but... Okay. Frankly, Jay, I don't know how you can be so calm about this. He betrayed us. Me, his twin. Diana, he kept it all inside. It must have killed him. Might as well have. Now that he's thrown his life away. Diana, he is still your brother. <laughs> Actually, I wonder what really happened at night. You know what? If there's one person who does know, it's Suzanne. Right? The both of them sharing secrets together. I want to find out. Uncle Chris is going to go to jail? She came forward to tell the truth. I'm sure that counts for something. You're not answering the question. It's up to the police, Mel. All we can do is hope for the best. I can't believe I'm related to someone who actually, like, killed a person. I know. How about I take you shopping after work? Shopping? Yeah, let's go and get some big stuff bears, um, like those on your bed. We can get some more to add to the family. I don't need bears to cheer me up. I thought you liked those. Uh, I used to. I mean, what is the one that keeps arranging them on my bed? Oh, I see. I'm inside one now. I'm not a kid anymore. Of course you're not. It's okay if you don't feel like talking about it. You just want to have a better idea of what happened. I, I don't know how much help I'll be. Try. Diana. I'm sorry. I only know what Chris told me. So tell us. Chris heard Sheila on the phone and she was threatening to do something to Diana. So he confronted her wanted to know what she was up to. And he tried to grab her phone and I guess she resisted. She lost her balance and you guys know the rest. Why didn't he just tell the police what happened? I don't know. He panicked, I guess. Wait, when did you find out about this? Uh, last week. When? Wednesday. So he panicked. But you could have gotten him to confess, right? Diana. I don't know, okay? I, I wasn't thinking straight either. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry about everything that we put you guys through. But I just didn't know what to do. And you were just gonna run and leave Jinka to bear the consequences? That was Chris's idea, okay? He was convinced that the police would never believe him. I mean, he has a record. Don't you see? Running only makes him appear more guilty. What was the plan? I don't know, take all our money, go to Thailand, start a new life. How long would that money even last? A while at least. I mean, the money for the flat, the money for my feed. Oh, what do you mean? Wait a minute. The money for your flat, that's our money. <sighs> you were going to cheat Ma too? That just keeps getting 
getting better. My brother's really outdone himself this time. How much we've sacrificed. How many chances we've given him. Well, at least he's trying to do something right this time, isn't it? It's too little too late. He's never learned he'll never change. He's still the same morally bankrupt coward he's always been. Fair enough. But can you try to go easy on him, at least in front of your mom? At the end of the day, he's still your brother. Not anymore, he's not. I will never forgive him for this. It's just such a shock, you know. Not only that he was the one who did it. Yeah, I know. The fact that he wanted to leave the country. I mean, just wow. I, I just never thought that. None of us did. I'll be off then. You take care. Oh, Ben. Tanya just messaged. She suggested that we can go over to the station to see if there are any updates. Are you going over now? You'll be okay here, right? Ma, uh, I'll ask Abazu to take over and I'm coming with you. But just so you know, it's for you, it's not for him. Why? What's that? I thought I could give Melissa a treat, buy her some new clothes, but she thinks it's a waste of money. We stood. I guess I don't know my daughter well. Hiya, you should be thankful uh, Melissa is a very sensible girl. Don't anyhow spend money. <laughs> Not just that. It's, it's like she's gotten used to me not being around. She doesn't need me for anything anymore. Yeah, teenagers are all like that. They like to do things their way. When you were her age, uh, you were also like that. What? Maybe even worse. <laughs> Thanks. Uh. I'm going shopping. Don't wait for me. <laughs> Ma? Oh, what did they say? They brought him back to the wedding venue. Why? They're going through everything step by step with him. It's called a reconstruction. It's just to make sure that all the evidence stack up. Then he'll be back here and we can see him then? Ma, I don't know. It might take a few hours and I don't even know if they'll allow us to see him. Let's just go home, yeah? I want to wait. Ma, he was going to run away and leave his mess for us to clear. You still want to wait for him? Please. Basically, when I came out, Sheila and Wafik were talking. And after he left, she made a call around here. Where were you standing? Around there. She must have seen you. Did she see you? Maybe. How could we have overheard a phone conversation if she did? I don't know, all right? Maybe she didn't. Did she or did she not? She didn't, okay? She didn't see me. She was facing that way. Hmm. And what was she saying? She wanted to get rid of Dinah to hurt her. Which hand was she using? What? Which hand was she using when she was on the phone? What does it matter? I'll be the judge of what matters, Mr. Tom. Simple question. Left or right? Uh, I... Do you have a few minutes? Is everything okay? I just want to talk. <clears throat> I know there's nothing I can do to make up for being away for so long. 
I wasn't here for you when you were preparing for your PSLE, when you were choosing your school. It's okay, Mummy. No, it's not. I should have been here. It wasn't right of me to choose my work over my daughter. And because I wasn't here, you had to help out to look after Daddy. I'm really sorry, Mel. I get it. I understand. It's okay. You don't hate me? Now I have to ask you something else that shows my utter failing. Um, I don't understand. How was Daddy like when he was going for his treatment? There were good and bad days, I guess. Well, my therapist said before that recovery isn't linear, so I kind of expected that. He told me you took very good care of him. I did what I could, but there were a few days that were pretty bad. Like, after he lost the gym, he refused to come out of his room. And another time, he spent the whole day crying at Grandma's house. He never told me those. Well, he's over that period now. I wonder if he will be that low again. Maybe, but he seems a lot better now. She was talking on the phone. She was planning something against Dinah. And she was holding the phone with her right hand, like this. Yeah, that's when she turned around and said, what do you want? That's when I tried to grab her phone. So I grabbed her phone. That's when she resisted. She used both her hands to pull the phone back. And then she tried to hit me. Which hand? Her right. That's when I, I whacked her hand away and I accidentally scratched her face. So what happened next? She tried to pull the phone back again with both her hands. She was leaning really backwards, putting her weight into it. Did you notice she was in danger of falling? I wasn't thinking about that, all right? I was so focused on getting the phone back. So I gave it a huge jerk and I had it. Which you threw in the river. She lost balance and she fell backwards. I was stunned for a moment. Before I knew it, she was at the bottom of the stairs. I see. It was an accident. You got to believe me, it was an accident. I'm just curious. How would grabbing a phone help Diana? Why didn't you just report what you heard to us? Still no news about Chris? <sighs> Raising a child with good family support is challenging enough. I cannot imagine how Suzanne must be feeling right now. Or even for Chris, the fact that he might have gone back to jail again, away from his family, or worse. I don't want to waste any more time. I want to revoke our deed of separation. Are you sure? I don't see the need for it. We're not separated anymore. I left you without giving you a proper reason. I forced you to give up your business. I was the one that caused you to be depressed. It's not your fault. Adam, you have never told me how bad things really were. I have to find out from Melissa. It was all in the past. What matters now is how we move forward. These few days with Michael and Melissa, I'm just feeling so off. I, I'm like a complete stranger to my own family. Okay. We will find a way to work it out. Whatever it is. I want to be here for you. Please don't shut yourself off from me again. I won't, I promise. And that is exactly why we should revoke the deed of separation. Yes, but... But I need time to sort myself out. Can we hold off meeting the lawyer for now? Just for a while. Thank you for your patience. We've compared your statement to the evidence we've gathered so far. And? So far, it's been consistent. Although I must say it was quite bold of you to sit back and do nothing while we treated your friends like suspects. Cairo, 
Wafik, Chinkai. No, I'm not proud for what I did. But they didn't do anything, so they won't get into trouble. We're recommending to the court that you be charged with culpable homicide. What? I, I told you it was an accident. You took your own sweet time to come clean. You attempted to destroy Sheila's phone. But unluckily for you, the memory chip survived. Mr. Tong, it's not looking good. What's the hurry? Sai or not Sai, you and Shelling are back together, what? Ma, I just want to move on and not have this hang over our heads. I mean, just look at what's happened to Chris and Suzanne. Huh? The same? Choi, you never kill anyone, okay? <sighs> okay, what I mean is, I just don't want to be caught in a situation where I regret not taking action until it's too late. Just be patient. Xueling is still trying to get used to things at home. Don't make her stress. She asks for time, right? Let her have it. You know what that feeling is like, right? I guess. It's not easy, you know, for a mother to be away from her family. Uh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Officer, what's going on, my son? It was an accident. He didn't mean to kill her. We are still reviewing the facts of the case, but right now, Everything points to culpable homicide. Culpable homicide? What does that mean? It means that if found guilty, he could be looking at life in prison. <sighs> culpable homicide? These police, I tell you, uh, they've got it all wrong. I don't believe Chris did it. I'm sure they had extenuating circumstances. I've watched Chris grow up. I've seen him do silly things. And you know uh, that somehow or other, he always makes up for it just by being the way he is. D does that make sense? Complete sense. And no. do you know uh, that, that Rascal taught me to showing him how to drive? He was only 13. 